Hi, I'm Picky Apricot Steve Andrews, and I'm going to show you how to view, modify, issue, and export invoices. When someone performs a self service transaction, like signing up for a membership or registering for an event, an invoice is automatically generated and emailed to the person. The exception is donations, which do not involve invoices. To view a list of your invoices, hover over the Finances menu and select the Invoices option. If you are already on a different tab within the Finances module, click the Invoices tab. Deleted invoices are not shown in the list. You can find deleted invoices in the Audit log by performing keyword searches on invoice numbers. Each invoice has a balance, the total amount of the invoice minus all the payments settled to it. If an invoice has a zero balance, it will be marked as fully paid. The origin field indicates whether it's a manual invoice, one not automatically generated by transactions on the site, or an automated invoice related to an online transaction, for example, membership application or event registration. You can search the invoice list in a number of ways. You can select a predefined date range or set one of your own. Or you can select one of the predefined filters. For example, if you select the With Open Balance filter, it will show all outstanding invoices. Finally, you can perform a keyword search. For example, you could type in a member's name to see the list of all corresponding invoices for this member, or enter an invoice number to view a particular invoice. To view the details of a particular invoice, click it within the invoices list. From the invoice details, you can record and settle the payment for any invoice with an open balance by clicking the Record Payment button. If a contact has provided you with their credit card and billing information outside of Wild Apricot, and you are using either PayPal Payments Pro or Authorize.net as your payment system, you can click the Charge Credit Card button to process a charge on this person's credit card. You can also print or email the invoice to the contact. You can modify or delete the invoice, though you have to be careful as it might lead to discrepancies between your transactions and your financial records. A record of all invoice edits and deletions can be found in the audit log. Using the previous and next buttons, you can browse through other invoices within the list. You can export your invoices, as they appear on your invoices list, to an Excel spreadsheet. From the Invoices list, click the Export to Excel button, then save the XML export file to a location on your computer or network. You can then open the XML file in Excel. You can also export your invoices and other financial data to QuickBooks. To track additional transactions that you have processed outside of your Wild Apricot website, for example, charging a fee for an advertisement on your site, you can create a manual invoice. Members can log in to Wild Apricot and pay invoices from their profile. From their profile, contacts can view their financial history, including all invoices and payments. Invoices with open balances, those that are unpaid or partially paid, will be shown at the top of the Invoices and Payments list. A message will appear in the bottom right corner if the member has unpaid invoices or incomplete registrations, or if the member is lapsed, overdue, or within a week of the renewal date. Contacts can pay any unpaid invoices by selecting one or more invoices and clicking the Pay Online button. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful.